Hello, this is Kyron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for The Collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. You got Love Affair here. It says Dirty Little Secret or Down Low. You got dangerous karmic ties here, okay? It looks like there's some type of dangerous love affair that's going on here, or this love affair is gonna get somebody in trouble here, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. It says poison, okay? Toxic, unhealthy behaviors or people here. Okay, so whoever this love affair is, this is not, this is not somebody that, how can I say? You know how they say, like, don't fight people that don't look like they got nothing to lose because they not going to care. <laughs> like, I don't know how I, I'm trying to be nice about it, but this is an energy right here that like this energy right here will make shit hit the fan. This energy right here will burn houses. This energy right here will key cars and bust out windows and you know they don't care about no jail. They don't care about no what's that? Um um restraining orders and shit like that. It says hamster wheel here. It says surviving daily hustle. You get what I'm saying? Like this that I'm getting a real hard this could be a woman or this could be a man. I'm seeing a lot of woman parts though. Okay? I am seeing a lot of woman parts, but this could definitely be a man here. But I'm feeling like this man is, is, you know, this this man will hurt somebody. This man will, or this woman will hurt somebody. Look, take it how it resonates, y'all. Like, it's only male and female here. So, you know, come on. But somebody here is crazy. Somebody here will really make some shit happen. Somebody here maybe is some type of hustler here. It says hamster wheel. So it says surviving or daily hustle here. Um, they could be in some type of money dealings with money here. They could be dealing with even drugs or something like that. There's a lot of energies here, which are like, you know, this ain't somebody you want to have a love affair with. You know, I'm just saying, I ain't trying to judge. It's a fog. It's a, someone can't see through a situation here. Okay. I feel like somebody is having the wolf. I mean, like, like somebody is having the smoke blown in their face. If y'all know what I'm saying. Okay. I feel like this is I feel like this is somebody that is attached to somebody else. I don't know why I'm feeling that. I'm even getting a headache right now, okay? I'm feeling like this is attached to somebody else like like this is okay. You know what? It, it depends on who it is that's watching this. Okay, I'm just going to read what's here, but it really depends on who's watching it. But I really feel like there's a third party here because it says love affair. It says dirty little secret down low. And whoever got this dirty little secret, they got it with the wrong type of person. Okay, you got it with somebody that you, you not, you not going to want to play with this person. Okay, that's why I'm saying I don't think that this is somebody that's close to my collective. I think that this is somebody that is connected to somebody that my collective knows, if y'all know what I'm saying. Like, if you know somebody is cheating, whoever they cheating with is not somebody that's going to go down without a fight. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, in a nutshell here, it says bouncy hunter. It says chaser or hot pursuit here. Okay. Maybe they don't see that this love affair is maybe trying to be something more. I feel like this love affair does not know about everything. Okay? I really feel that. I don't feel that this love affair knows that they're a secret. Okay? That's just what I'm picking up on. It says overworked here. Someone is doing way too much. I feel like this is going to start coming to light once somebody wants to do those extra things. Okay, here's what I'm getting. I'm really getting the energy of somebody that does not know that somebody's in a relationship. Somebody's talking to somebody that's in a relationship, okay? This person has not told them that they're in a relationship, but they're doing the things where you know how you want to get more serious in your relationship. You want to start talking about kids and how you're going to move in and all this kind of stuff. And like, they're going to slowly figure out as they get into this, okay? And whoever this person is, they're not going to appreciate the fact that 
they were put on a hamster wheel to play this game. They're not going to appreciate that. They're not going to appreciate that somebody is not telling them the truth or not being straight up about what is going on here. Okay? So I'm getting somebody. They may not know that they are a love affair, but they are going to find out that they are the side dude or the side chick. And when they find out that they're the side dude or the side chick, this person is going to go ham. This person is going to go crazy. You see this chick with the gun. Okay, I'm not trying to say that guns is going to get involved. I really don't want to say that, even though people die every day. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. But I will say that this person is toxic enough. You don't you don't want to play, like somebody is. But you know what's so crazy about it? Somebody's going to get what's coming to them because they shouldn't be cheating on their spouse or their girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever they're choosing to be with. They shouldn't be cheating on them. And it's so funny how the universe works. This person is cheating on that one person that you don't want to mess with. That's who they're cheating with, okay? I'm not talking about the girlfriend or the boyfriend. I'm talking about the third party. The third party is crazy as hell. And whoever this is, they're about to be in for a rude awakening. Like, you left a good relationship for somebody that was crazy, or you started cheating on somebody and you didn't know they... You started cheating on my collective and you didn't know the person that you was cheating with was crazy you didn't know that they would not appreciate the fact that you're in a relationship and that you're lying to them okay maybe they have plans on you know like it's like you're wasting somebody's time what if you're you're talking to somebody for months and they think that you know this is getting serious and then come to find out you're in a whole relationship and that's why things couldn't move on that's why things couldn't move faster they're going to feel bamboozled. They're going to feel like you wasted their time. You get what I'm saying? You see it say crazy. I can't even lie. The crazy falls right under love affair. The whole time I was talking. The whole time I was talking. And then I start shuffling and this is the guard that comes out. Crazy. Someone's been acting crazy or will act crazy. And that falls under love affair. I'm trying to tell y'all what I'm feeling is coming out on the table. Whoever this person is cheating with. They're going to start doing too much, okay? They're going to start wanting to move in. They're going to start wanting. They're, they're going to wonder why things are not moving faster. And when things come to light, they're not going to act good, okay? Like, for example, let's say I'm talking to a, a, a female right now, okay? I'm talking to a female right now. The female that I'm talking to right now, your boyfriend or girlfriend is probably cheating with somebody and who they're i'm not saying it's everybody but this is a this is a special person right here whoever that person is cheating on you with that person is crazy as hell they don't know about you or this relationship they just know what your man or woman told them but when everything comes to light yeah you going to be wondering what happened to your boyfriend or girlfriend because you know they might get messed up they might find themselves in the middle you know, it says smudge, cleanse your space, phone, and self here. Okay, whoever this is, mm. and smudge falls under dangerous karmic ties. That's what I'm saying. Somebody needs to smudge. If you are suspecting that, you know, your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever is like cheating, this is really the energy that like, you know, if they're having sex with that person and they're having sex with you, you understand that those energies are intertwining. You understand, you know, sex is not just sex. It's a little, it's a lot deeper than that, you know, but if this person is having sex with this person and they're having sex with you, you do need to cleanse. You do need to smudge. You do need to do something. Okay. What's these two cards? It says they're coming. It says love interest, angry person or new love here. And then it says can't trust them. OK, and this is what they're going to figure out. It says they're coming. That poison, that toxic, unhealthy behavior or people, it says they're coming, meaning you're going to see when this shit hits the fan, they're going to see the real person that they was messing with. They're going to see the real person that they was cheating with. They're going to find out why they need to stay within the boundaries of their relationship and stop playing because people are going to blow up your spot. OK, you got can't trust them here underneath hamster wheel. That's what I told y'all, that they're going to feel bamboozled. They're going to feel like they was doing all this for nothing, you know? Okay, wait, these want to, okay, it didn't come out. It 
it says setting intentions here and that falls under fog it says someone can't see through the situation okay my goodness they're gonna feel like this is like look like whoever this is this middleman person this person that's playing two people that's the person that's really going to get it they're really going to get it because it just feels like they're doing this purposely with the setting intentions and the fog it says someone can't see through a situation this is because this is the situation that somebody is creating they're creating this for nobody to see through it somebody's really going to mess with the wrong one i'm feeling that very very strongly this is for somebody i don't know who this is for and i hear that confirmation over there somebody's going to mess with the wrong one somebody's going to get into somebody's going to get into a relationship with the wrong person and they're not going to be honest and this person is really not going to like it okay it says hacked here and this is under bounty hunter chaser or hot pursuit here somebody is i feel like this could even manifest like somebody's going to look through your phone or somebody's going to see the message or somebody's going to notice somebody keeps texting you or somebody's going to notice this chick keeps commenting on your post or somebody's going to notice that you know somebody has more than one facebook more than one instagram or you know this is going to be something i think through the, the computer okay somebody's going to find this out through the computer because you know everybody put their business out there now you know everybody put their business out there okay and then you got insatiable unquenchable and once more here Okay, I feel like this person is going to feel bamboozled. They're not going to want to let go, but at the same time, they're going to want to destroy this look. They could be crazy enough to want to destroy the other person. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Somebody needs to smudge so that this situation can get away from them. Okay, somebody needs to smudge. They need to smudge the doors, the windows, your body. You need to make a spiritual bath. You need to do something. You need to look it up on YouTube. But if somebody is cheating and they're coming back to you and they're having sex with you, these energies are intertwining and this love affair person is going to smell it. You get what I'm saying? I don't mean it with your nose, but they're going to smell it. They're going to smell it because, you know, things are going to start connecting and they're either going to want to take you out or they're going to want to take this boyfriend or girlfriend out that tried to play them. One or the other. Somebody is like, really, this person is somebody that. <sighs> yeah. This is not a nice energy here. It's really not a nice energy. Okay. You got Venus here, which is love. Okay. Venus here. Also the energy of the Empress in the tarot. Okay. All is for love. And you know, sometimes love can drive people real crazy. I'm just saying. Like, you don't, you don't need to be, you know, dying to stay with nobody. You get what I'm saying? Like, if somebody is getting wrapped up in some shit and it's their fault and they're putting themselves in it, they can't come to you and be like, you know, I got something to tell you. You know, I'm so sorry. I've been cheating on you. But, you know, this person is crazy and I really want to get away from them. Can you help me? You need to go skirt. You was doing what? You was cheating. Now you need to go. You need to go take care of whatever the hell is going on out there. Don't bring that shit over here. That's what you need to tell them. This says 10th house here, which is like the house of career. It says the world here, okay? But it's the house of career here also. This could even be something that's going on in work, okay? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you got Saturn here, which is the ruler of the 10th house, okay? And Saturn says truth. Saturn is the, the energy of responsibility and maturity. You know, the lessons that you have to go through. Saturn is like father time. Saturn is everything which becomes developed. We do not come to this earth with a good Saturn structure. Saturn is something that is learned over time. Just like the energy of the 10th house here. Okay. And I feel like there's definitely a lesson here when it comes to work here and love, okay? Or mixing, you know, business and pleasure. It's kind of that kind of energy here. I'm definitely getting that kind of energy here for somebody. Let me get a few of these tarot cards here. Oh, it says rejoice and celebration. Oh, my goodness. And this fell on top of Venus. I'm getting this. Somebody's like, man, I hate to say it, but it's like somebody's friend, man. This is somebody's friend. 
this is somebody's friend, okay? Or somebody that was just supposed to be a friend. I'm seeing it for somebody. And these readings are during a Mercury retrograde, so none of these are for shits and giggles here. With this Hermit card, I really feel like somebody has... Like they've had enough time to even identify who this is, maybe, or they've seen things, or they under you know Virgo energy is very um, analytical, very into critical thinking, can see the little details, can see the things that come together here, okay? And maybe this is this person, this Three of Cups, this person that's the the love affair or the third party. This could be this person that is a Virgo or the person that's going to put all of this together and understand this and. You know, I don't know which way the fan is going to hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, are they going to be mad at the person that put the fog in their face? Or are they going to be mad at, you know, the fact that this person has a girlfriend or boyfriend and they're going to want to take them out so that they can have the relationship? And the reason I say that is because of this insatiable, which is unquenchable or wanting more. Is this person going to... You know how sometimes, okay, you get into that... that cheating relationship right you're cheating on somebody and you're with somebody else and that person finds out you were with somebody else before you was with them and then they decide to take it out on that other person sometimes that is the situation that's what i felt when i seen the insatiable okay i'm just saying this third party is going to start putting the the pieces together here i strongly feel that okay and then light, then you got the sun, and then it's going to be exposed. I'm trying to tell you, somebody here went too far in this friendship or whatever it is that it was not supposed to be. Somebody went too far up in that, and it has gotten a little bit deep, and there's a lot of things that are secrets, things that are unknown to this love affair person, but this love affair person is not going to be happy. I mean, anybody will be mad if you have put you know time and energy and effort into somebody only to figure out that they're with somebody else but the reason why this reading is being is being had is because somebody needs to cleanse this uh, themselves of this energy like if you feel this or if you feel like your partner is doing this you need to really like you know maybe stop doing it maybe stop having sex maybe start you know i'm just saying because these energies intertwine they intertwine and it's not it's not healthy. You start taking on other people's demons and shit. You know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let me get another one out here. You got mental conflict. You see? I told you they're not going to know who to... I was about to say who to kill, but I, you know, I'm not going to say that. I'm not trying to say nobody going to die, but I'm just saying, like, they're not going to know who to smack upside the head. Let's just say it like that. They're not going to know which direction to go. Somebody really needs to, like, get out of this situation, okay? If you know that this is going down, you need to take yourself out of this situation. Can't nobody take your man or your woman. Your man or woman has to want to leave. So you're not really fighting for somebody that's cheating on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody's cheating on you, like, look, everybody do, you know, I don't know. I can't tell nobody what to do. And then you got the Three of Swords here. It goes from the Two of Swords to the Three of Swords, which is heartache and loss here. I'm trying to tell you, somebody went to the from the Three of Cups to the Three of Swords. Somebody went from the Three of Cups to the Three of Swords. They went from being a damn third party that they didn't know they was a third party to knowing the truth about everything. Heartache and loss here. Okay? Somebody's going to be tripping here. I wanted this to be a positive reading, but hey, it be coming out like this sometime. Okay? Let me get an angel. I mean, I'm gonna get an angel message for this, even though this was a very like, you know, I don't want to be caught in the middle of this. What's it say? It says, listen deeply here and it says, trust the universe. Okay. I really feel like somebody's going to wind up leaving this situation. Okay. Because I don't believe that this love affair, I don't think even if they end up together, I don't think they're going to be happy. And I don't think this love affair is ever going to trust them. And I just don't think that is going to work out at the end of the day. But that doesn't matter for whoever my collective is. My collective just needs to come up out of the energy or the situation. Or they need to come up out of dealing with this cheater. Somebody needs to come up out of dealing with this. Because it doesn't look good for, you know, it looks like this person is a little crazy. But, you know, I'm going to mind my business. I'm going to leave it right there. If you like the way that I read... 
please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.